Hello and welcome back to another manga haul, but this time it's in that manga plus anime haul. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Not! Badger doesn't like the sound of anything. Anyway, so I've been to Waterstones and I got some of this. The rest of this was ordered off the book depository. Norigami will not be a part of this haul because it's not out to the 11, although I will be getting it on a restate. Anyway, we should get started with the anime. With the anime! Bruh! Whatever. Don't care. Anyway, first up, I got all these DVDs in HMV on Wednesday. Yep, I didn't know I wasn't allowed. No, Badgie isn't allowed out the house. Problems occur when Badgie leaves this house. Hi! Anyway, first up, I have Carnival. The DVD, and this is what I'll be watching next. So I bought the DVD of it, and the, the case seems to have just come up. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Carnival is about these two boys who are trying to discover the death of one's father and he's trying to find clues to it so they go to this circus this company called Circus where the crews read them and have to participate in this things that happen and stuff it's a super powered security force of entertainers who keep villains off the streets and say by serving up justice with a side of razzle dazzle that's what the back of the case says there it is if you want to read it, you can pause and have a good read of that description. No, I don't like the sound of it. Although it is showing an eye. So I might have a go. There you go, Badgie. Next is a series I'd never heard of until I found it in CEX. Which is Love and Lies. And this is the Blu-ray, and the art style looks kind of similar to Scum's Wish, but I'd never heard of this series until I found the Blu-ray of it. It's about where the government decides who you end up with, so they decide who you marry, but this boy, one of these boys, I'm not sure which one is who, ends up falling over the girl, but he's not allowed to be with her because the government has decided he needs to be with this other girl. So it's kind of about them defying the government and choosing their own partners and stuff. I don't know much about it. I just bought it because it sounded interesting. Here is the description. If you are interested in reading that. I gave the general synopsis. Don't interested. This next one I have actually watched. It is Elvin Reed. I watched this this year actually, quite recently. And this is Ray God. This is the Blu-ray, it also, if I can get it open, comes with a little art book, which I shouldn't really open because there is some nipples in here. But yeah, there's an art book. An Elfin Read is a very good series. It's about Lucy, who is a Dichronius, which is like a subspecies of human that's born with horns. And their sole desire is to kill people. And Lucy get, is in this experimental facility and she gets shot in the head and loses her memories and develops split personalities. And she ends up living with this boy and his cousin who knew her when she was little. And living with them and keeps switching between the two personalities and killing people and stuff. I should probably cover those. Yeah, it's a good series. I recommend it. Yeah. I sound horrorish, so I might give it a go. Next we have Madoc Scramble, or three films. I think there's only three films, I'm not actually sure, but this contains the first three films. I heard of Madoc Scramble because the manga was drawn by the person who did A Silent Voice and To Your Eternity, both very really good manga. So the I actually drew the manga of this, which is based off the original novel series, and these are films based off of that as well. It's about a girl who's brought back to life and becomes a cyborg, 
and she, she is trying to find the person who killed her. So she wakes up as a cyborg with like metal parts to her, which is not usually allowed. They're not usually allowed to make cyborgs, but they do. And with the help of the man who brought her back, she has to go and try and find the man who murdered her and like get revenge. It contains strong sex, nudity, sexualized violence, so it's an 18. Yay! I have heard about these films before, but I've never actually seen them. And this last one I have seen, it's Grave of the Fireflies. And it's a Ghibli film, I have seen this years ago, but I don't remember all of it, although I do remember the general premise that it takes place during the war. The Second World War about these two siblings whose mother is killed during the bombings so they go and try to survive on their own and it's basically about survive these two kids surviving during the Second World War. It's a Ghibli film. Yeah, it's a good film from what I remember. That's the description if you want to read it. Anyway, that's all the anime I have, so we'll be moving on to the main part of this video, which is the manga. Yay! Not! Don't like this part of the video. And before we start, I have just realised that I have forgotten one, so... Back in a minute. Yep, here we have, um... The Survivor Gale Volume 4, I read this a while back, I didn't get it with any of these so I kind of forgot that it was he. I needed to include it, it was on the shelf. The Survivor Gale is a good series, this is the final volume, it could have done with being longer, but it's about this girl, Nina, who attends the school for Rupers, which are like wolf people, and she has to like try and unite them and stuff, it's a good series. It this could have done with being longer. Put that back over there. Yep. Anyway, we have Devil's Rhyme, Volume 5. And this is um, Volume 5, Devil's Rhyme. I have read the first four volumes. It's about devils or vampires. And they live among humans. And there's a task force that helps priest the devils and Anzai this guy here works for that task force and along with a human girl they like try to keep the devil crime under control and try to discover the past of Anzai's past which where he was brought up in like a facility and they're trying to discover more about his past as well it's a good series this is volume 5 yes. I wouldn't read it though but I might, if I dare, to do it. Next up, I haven't read this yet. We have Shiri a Goldfish, Volume 1, which is about giant goldfish, which attack Shiri. Like, one day, they just start flying around and eating people, and it's a horror about these goldfish, like, going around eating people. Don't know much else about it, but I did see this and thought it was on the net and thought it was interesting. So yeah. Next we have another horror series, Ibitsu. Another one that I don't really know much about. I just saw it and it looked interesting. So I picked it up. It's uh this is a single volume. Though so this is like a one shot which was originally two volumes long, but this it was, it was put into two volume one volume. So yeah. It's about this girl, Ibitsu, I think her name is, and she keeps asking anyone who sees her if they want a little sister, and if they reply to her, they're basically doomed to life of death, and yet, I want to read that one, sounds interesting, definite. Yeah, buddy, you do that. I want to read you so much, baby. Next, we have Fruits Baskets, another, volume two. The second volume, Two Fruits Baskets, is another, which is the sequel to Fruits Basket. I have actually watched the new trailer for the new anime and it looks very good. And the character designs are cool too. 
It's supposed to be cute as cat form and she should always dog form. And there's nothing better than a cute dog. Now, here's a picture that's inside. So this is basically about the children of the cast of Fuba. So he's the original cast. And he is their kids. Well, this is Toru and Kyo's son here. And this is Yuki and Machi's son here. And this is the main girl. She's not related to anybody. But yeah, it's basically about their kids. And basically the story of Fuba without the curse and stuff. It's got... There's only three volumes of this. Yep, don't like Fuba. Next we have another one I just I found. It's called Descending Stories. And I've heard good things about this manga off of the net. And I found it in Waterstones and decided to give it to go. It's about this guy here. And he just gets out of prison. He We don't know his name. But he decides he wants to become a storyteller. So he goes and asks this master storyteller here if he can be his apprentice. And he says yes. And he decides to teach him how to be a good storyteller by telling him stories of his own past and stuff. And I've heard it's meant to be very good. And yeah, don't worry, Badgie. It's not a show, Joe. It's a Joe sigh. Doesn't make much difference to me. It's probably still crap. I haven't read it yet, so I couldn't say, but I decided to get it. Yep. So there we go. The cover is very Japanese on this one. It is. Very traditional. I do agree. Next up we have... Give it back. No! I'll have a right volume two. Give, give it back. No! Thank you for hitting me across the face with a manga. You're welcome. Our Ride is a very good series. You should read it if you like show. Don't I'll give it back. No! Bye! Take it with me! You'll never see that again. Oh, how ride is good. You should read it if you enjoy shoujo. It's one of the better ones. It's not! It's not! I'll retrieve that later. You better not talk about our whole ride. I will forbid you. You can't forbid me nothing, Vargie. Whatever! Next we have the first... The second manga series that I ever read. Still haven't finished it yet. Blackbird, volume 14 and 15. I'm getting to the end. There's only another three volumes after these two. I do know how it ends because I looked it up. Because I like looking up stuff and spoiling my things. I like spoilers. I'm strange. You are. I like spoilers too though. I spoiled the end of um, the book my friend was reading. It was called... Journey to the Center of the World, that's not quite the Earth. It ended where they escaped. Right. Good book, by the way. Anyway, Blackbird Volume 14 and Blackbird Volume 15. Blackbird's about Tengus. This guy here, Kyo, is a Tengu. And he meets this girl, Mitsuba. Or Mitsuha, or however you say her name. I've forgotten it's been ages since I read this. I'm probably going to have to reread this series right from the start once I finish it. Just so I remember everything. And Kyo's a Tengu and he meets with her and said to her that she promised to marry him when they were kids. But she doesn't remember. And then they like, get tangled up with each other and she ends up getting with the Tengus and getting mixed up in their business and stuff. And she runs that she is the Senkai Maiden. Which is a maiden that all demons desire. And they like want to eat her, to, then they'll gain immortality. So Kyo has to protect her from being eaten by anyone who's a demon. It's a good series. I haven't read it in a while. Yeah, I wouldn't read it. Show Joe. Surprised I let you talk about this actually. At least it's more Stuart than I'll have a ride. I don't know what you have against I'll have a ride. You've never even read the damn thing. I watched the anime. It was enough for me. <laughs> okay. Next up, To Your Eternity, Volume 6 and 7. Yay! And To Your Eternity, Volume 6 and 7 is from the author of A Silent Voice. And it's about this orb that falls from the sky. 
and becomes a lock and then he becomes a wolf and then he becomes a boy and he just keeps evolving and turning into different creatures and learning more and more about the world and also trying to stop these other creatures that are like stealing his forms so he keeps taking on different forms and getting more smart and stuff and it's about him journeying and discovering what it means to be human and what entitled in the world and stuff it's a good series and he goes back to being a rock a couple of times and he meets so many characters and the different arcs happen and it's a good series and he can actually speak now he's no longer a rock yeah the rock is a good man we're not talking about the rock here Badgie oh yeah me sexy I'll do him in an instant even if he boxed me through it. Right. Yeah, uh, To Your Eternity God series, if you like the silent voice, it's the same author. It is, isn't it? And last up, we have Inuyasha Volume 7, favourite manga. Still haven't finished it. I've finished the entire anime, but I haven't actually got around to finishing the manga yet. This is Volume 7. It's his big version. It's a free and worn. And I talk about Inuyasha all the time. This one contains volumes 19, 20, and 21 in this volume 7. And Inuyasha is about the half demon Inuyasha and Kagome and the sacred jewel and finding the shards of it and trying to put it back together in order to get a wish. I've talked about it in detail so many times in other videos, so I'm just going over it quickly this time. You bet you are. You can never resist the temptation to talk about it. You are ridiculous. Okay, can I have how how right back now? No, you can never have it back. I do appreciate you slapping me over the face with the manga, by the way. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, there it is. Oh! Now I should have hidden it somewhere better than behind your back. Stupid I am! Anyway, that's all. Uh, I've covered the entirety of this haul. That is all the manga that I have got this one so far. Until Norgami and Children of the Whales come out. Yep. So that'll be doing it for this manga slash slight anime haul. And I will see you next time. Yep, I'll see you in the morning because I'm going out. I don't care what you think about me in public and how it doesn't mix. <sighs> Bye.